Hi guys, it's Monica. I am like so super excited about doing this collab with Carol from The O Carol Show. We had talked about doing a collab on eyelashes. Carol, uh, it was Carol's idea. She knows that I'm just a major mascara freak. But you know what? She has me beat when it comes to mascara. She really does. Anyways, and she was talking about doing a collab video and asked if I was interested and I just jumped right on it because to me, talking about mascara and eyelashes, oh my gosh, right up my alley. Because many of you know, I go nowhere, nowhere without my mascara. So let me just say, Carol, if you don't know Carol from the O Carol Show, and I'm sure that you all do, but if you don't, I'm gonna definitely link her channel below. Hello. She is just an amazing, amazing woman, and she has a fabulous, fabulous channel. Her specialty on her channel is basically helping us achieve the look for a lot less. So what she does a lot of, she does a lot of dupes. So she will take a high-end product, check it out, test it out, and then she'll find products that have the same ingredients or similar ingredients as that high-end product and she'll discover these amazing dupes. My Foreo Mini, my face cleanser dupe that I have came from O'Carroll and I'll link that video below too because I absolutely love that dupe. I use it all the time when I do my cleansing. Recently she had talked about an eyelash serum and called Lash Tonic. Now this just arrived so I even had, I have not had a chance to even use it. I have no idea what this is going to be like, so I'm not really talking or touting the product. She had just started using it, so I'll be curious to see what her results are with it. But basically, it's an eyelash serum for to stimulate growth and on your lashes and all your on your eyebrows. And this is obviously right up my alley. So I bought it. 20 bucks? How can you go wrong? So the O'Carroll show. She's just one super, super sexy lady. She's actually going to be 69 years old in February. Can you believe it? 69 in February. You look at her. She has got a body to die for. She has a head of amazingly beautiful, lush, long hair. I mean, it's like I'm so jealous of her hair. You know, her personality just makes you smile. All her videos are fun. They're engaging. And when she said, would you be interested in collabing with me? I was like, me? Absolutely. Absolutely. I was, I was so thrilled. So she's going to talk all about the mascara, the application, different mascaras, how she achieves her beautiful, beautiful eyelashes. And I'm going to talk all about how I maintain my eyelashes. So I'm really anxious to hear and watch her video on the different mascaras because I do have a couple of different mascaras, but you know, she's got a ton. So that ought to be really good. Those of you, and I'm going to insert a, a picture in a second here of when I first started with an eyelash serum, I really had no eyelashes to speak of. My eyelashes are very blonde. So when I have no mascara on, even though they're longer and thicker, they're really hard to see. But when I, before I started using the Care Pros product that I'm currently using on my eyelashes, I basically had no lashes. So here is a picture of right before, and as you can see right next to it, and this is sort of the progress, they're all dated. So you can see a dramatic difference in my eyelashes when I started to use the Care Pros product. There are, I just have to caution you, I am not a, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a chemist, I'm not anything of that nature. A lot of these products sometimes have side effects. Some people have, you know, horrible side effects, some people have none. So you need to do your own research into whatever, whether it's skincare or lash care, you're gonna have to do your own research into it. But I started using CarePost back in September of 2016 and initially, it was a three month program. I followed it to the T. What I did is each little Care Pros bottle comes with a little, a little brush. When I opened up the brush, I actually trimmed it down because it's, it was, it's a long brush and it was very flappy. I actually trimmed it down to where it would be solid and easier for me to apply. And then on these little bottles in the lid here, there's a little indent. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there is this little tiny indent and I would very carefully do one drop of the fluid into the 
indent in the lid. One drop is all I did, and then I would take my brush and I would dip my brush into it, and the one drop, or the little dropper that I got in there, always did two eyes and dabs on my brows. So let me tell you what my routine is. When I use CarePros, because currently now, I'm only using CarePros two to three nights a week, as opposed to every night of the week. And one of the things they have said from the beginning on using a product like CarePros is that you cannot mix it with any oily products. So on my CarePros nights, when I take off my mascara, I use an oil-free product. And most of the time, I use a Quate to take it off, and I will dip it in my hands, and then I will rub it all over my eyes with my fingers. I don't use a cotton ball. I don't use any kind of a cottony pad. I just use my fingers. And I'm very, very careful when I massage it in that I'm going up my lashes and around very gently. I, I like the control of feeling it and cleaning my face or my eyes with my fingers. So I will do that and then oftentimes I'll take a cleanser. Usually I take something very mild and I'm cleaning all around. I normally, after a full day like today, I would normally do a triple cleanse on my skin because I want to make sure I really, really get everything off. On my CarePros nights, I'm very careful that whatever I am using around my face, that I'm not getting it anywhere near my eyes because it has to be oil free. Somehow, the oil in the products that you might use to clean your eyes off with can inhibit the serum from working. So that's how I do it. Dip it into here. I always made sure it was sanitized. I sanitize with alcohol before and after each use. I also sanitize around the lid here when I dip it in. And sometimes on the little nozzle, depending on you know what I've done with it. So I always make sure it's totally sanitized. I would very carefully go right along my eyes and then I would fill in a little bit by my brows where where it was light so I did this I had amazing results you can see from some of the pictures I'll show them to you again you can see what my eyelashes they were like unbelievable so I of course had fear that you know when my when the 12 weeks would be up and you're down to two nights a week or three nights a week would I lose a lot of lashes would the growth stop I had all that fear I made sure that I continued on with homemade remedies for my eyelashes and two of the things that I really like to use and I know this might look the same to you but one of these is actually clear or and one is sort of a golden brown. These are basically castor oil. That's basically what it is. I'll show you the brands that I have. These are the two brands that I have. I am not super, super conscious of brands when it comes to the castor oil. I do think it's important that you have your castor oil that you try to find something that has been cold pressed. It's organic. You want to make sure it, the ingredients are pure, that it's not mixed with a whole bunch of other things. So what I did is I have, this is my favorite castor oil, and then this is the black Jamaican castor oil. On the nights that I don't use CarePost, I will take the black castor oil or the regular castor oil that I have, and I will take it, and I also have like a little bit, a little brush, a different one than this. I will dip it in there and sometimes I go right around the edge. But I very, and I have to squeeze this out. You know, you have to make sure you kind of drain it because it comes out, it's very thick, it's very goopy, and I don't like that. So I very carefully, there's actually stoppers you can get into some of these little mascara things. I don't have any, so I just make sure that I do it this way. And then I take this and I coat my eyelashes, just like up and down, up in the top, on the ends, just like as if I was using my mascara. I coat my eyelashes. And then sometimes I've been known to massage it in gently. So I alternate between the black Jamaican castor oil and my other castor oil, which is the organic. I have coconut oil and vitamin E that I typically will mix in a little bit, just a tiny bit, a drop of each, and I use a dropper. I actually saved an empty bottle of my Timeless Serums, 
and I take a dropper and I will squeeze a dropper into it and I will shake it up and I will put that on in along with my black Jamaica castor oil. So those are the two mixtures that I use. Any kind of I think castor oil will do the trick but I think the key is consistency. You can start to do it and you can do it once a week. You can do it seven nights a week and see no difference and then give up. But it's the same thing when I started with the Care Pros. I was extremely, I, I said, well, I'm going to spend the money, I'm going to get this. I'm going to do this. I researched, I educated myself to the potential side effects. I monitored very carefully for these side effects. I sanitized. I sanitized, sanitized, sanitized. I'm just, I don't, I don't have a phobia about it, but I'm just really concerned about doing something that can harm my eyes and I don't, I don't want to do that at all. So to me, the eyelash maintenance to me is crucial. So I have been really lucky. I do think my eyelashes perhaps are not as thick as they were when I ended using, you know, the regular every single night of the Care Prost. But I just think it's, they're probably just a tiny bit less thick, you know. I don't think it's a major thing. When I look at my eyelashes today, I use the same amount of mascara, maybe even less than I did back then. And I still have to trim my eyelashes. So in this picture that you can see, if you look closely, you'll see that I have a long eyelash, one long eyelash. That happens to me a lot. I might have one or two or sometimes three lashes that just like shoots like crazy, like takes off like crazy. And and I have to trim them down. I call them my rogue lashes. So that's really the secret to me. I try not to rub and I try not to pull on my lashes at all. And it's the same thing when I put the castor oil as a treatment a little bit on my brows. Now I remove my makeup every night. I never go to sleep with mascara on or any makeup on at all. So that comes off every night. So by the time I wake up in the morning and I wash my face, if there's any leftover pat, my eyelashes feel rich. They feel really, really good when I wake up in the morning, as do my eyebrows. If anything, it's conditioning my lashes. I don't believe it's making my lashes grow super long, but I do believe that it's conditioning my lashes and that's uh, to me I'm all about that maintenance of my eyelashes I want to make sure that I maintain the growth that I have I mean to me to have sexy eyelashes I'm going to be 64 in February and you know I mean you look at Carol is like amazing and she's going to be 69 here we are in you know mature ladies in this wonderful community we are so blessed to be living in our time frame I think because we have so many different opportunities it might seem like an uphill battle especially when you watch the younger YouTube ladies you know the brand are listening to them but I think slowly the brands are waking up and they're listening to us as well so I am like super super happy about this collab I, I love the fact that you know we we share with each other and I'm all about trying to maintain oh this looks really nice Ooh, can't wait to try that I think I'll try this tonight so I'm all about trying to maintain my eyelashes what do you think I think it's worth it. I really, really do. I went through the majority of my life without having any that I could really talk about. So do I flap my lashes around? You better believe it. I'm, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Well, I know 2018 is going to really rock the mature community because the brands are starting to take notice and they're taking notice because of all of you, every single one of you watching our videos, commenting and liking and sharing and just supporting the mature community. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye, guys.